politics over the popular front of India ban continues. Now the All India United Democratic Front leader Rafiqul Islam has said that the Home Ministry has taken a hurried decision to go ahead and ban the PFI. My colleague Preeti joins us for more on this. Preeti, we have been bringing to fore all the voices from various political parties all through the country ever since this five-year ban on PFI has been announced. Now, the AIUDF has also joined in the fray. They are saying that this was a hurried decision. Any basis to this statement? Preeti, if you can hear me. We seem to have lost that link with Preeti. We'll try and connect uh, back with our reporter on ground. However, this is what uh, we are breaking for our viewers at this moment. We are being told that the AIUDF leader, Rafiqul Islam, has gone on to say that the Union Home Ministry, with this ban that has been announced on the Popular Front of India for five years, has gone ahead and taken a hurried decision. This is the argument that is coming from the AIUDF. Remember, AIUDF is the strong political party that functions out of Assam. After the BJP and the Indian National Congress, AIUDF is one of the largest political parties, especially in the state of Assam. Now, this particular reaction coming in from one of its leaders, and that too, Mr. Rafiqul Islam, uh, of course, uh, speaks volumes about the kind of politics uh, that will be seen played out in the days to come. Ever since, Early this morning, the ban on the Popular Front of India for five years was announced. Remember, at about 6.30 a.m., we broke the story that the government of India has banned the Popular Front of India and its affiliates. Uh, and ever since that development has come to fore, we are seeing these reactions beginning to come in. Some of the other political outfits are also going ahead and claiming that why not go ahead and ban the RSS because RSS has also been uh, a very, very privy to a lot of things where violence really has emanated. Others go ahead and uh, try to take the politically correct route by saying that uh, this was an evident thing that needed to happen. Now, the latest reaction that has come in, this is by AI UDF leader Rafiqul uh, Islam. Now, he's saying that this was sort of a hurried decision. Remember, we're talking about raids on PFI members and its leaders that happened for two days. The first one was across 13 states in the country that was actually presided over by the National Investigative Agency. There were over 108 PFI leaders and members that were napped in that raid. The second one happened yesterday along eight states of the country where there were more arrests that were made. Before this, there was a hartal call by the PFI on Friday where we had some uh, violence that emanated because of that hartal. And of course, there were so many questions raised on the popular front of India. Now we are seeing another political reaction coming in on this story. My colleague Preeti is back with us uh, on the broadcast. Preeti, this reaction by Rafikul Islam, of course, going ahead and uh, you know staying in line with the kind of political furor and reactions that we have been seeing since the morning that we break this uh, broke the story of the ban on PFI. Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, spoken to Rafikul Islam, who is an AIUDF uh, leader, and he has stated that. Uh, uh, because uh, the investigation was on, he must say that uh, after the investigation, if the PFI when the organization was bad, they did, would not have had uh, much problem. But now he says that it is a hurried decision taken by uh, the government. And he has said that uh, somehow Hinanta Bisha Sharma, the chief minister of the state, is also trying to play politics uh, in the name of PFI. Because uh, he, because uh, the chief minister of the state, Hinanta Bisha Sharma, has been saying about the PFI involvement in Gorukhuti and Rafikul Islam today has uh, denied PFI involvement in Gorukhuti or any kind of terror modules that has been busted. He stated that uh, he doesn't have any connection with PFI, but the Gorukhuti incident, it was the innocent people of Gorukhuti who were actually, they were, they were homeless for which they actually uh, went against them and started protesting mm -hmm. and uh, he said that uh, there are other organizations uh, along with uh, PFI who are actually trying to create uh, communal religious tensions among the people he has uh, named the uh, Hindu uh, Parishad and also he has uh, named certain other organizations okay. and he stated that even those organizations should be uh, Absolutely. brought under All right. uh, track. So that reaction coming in from the AI UDF we will see how politics continue news to play out over this ban on the popular front of India. Meanwhile, we're getting some more breaking news.